All right, rough year this year, and uh, we're having a lot of queen trouble. I don't know if this is going on everywhere. I'm hearing reports that other people are having the same kind of trouble, but uh, we lost a couple queens. Our walkaway splits aren't working very well this year, and not sure what's going on. But things have gotten so complicated. I've got I've got notes on my hives this year because I've lost track of where everything went. Started out with the Vermont queens. I had two really strong resource hives coming out of winter. Two my two of my strongest hives from from the winter came out of the winter. Those queens look so good, I put them into full-size hives. Vermont queens, full-size hives. After a couple weeks, the queens were doing so well, I wanted to propagate the queens, took those queens out, put them into two of their own resource hives again. The idea being that the queens would just start off new resource hives, build up those resource hives into full-size hives pretty quickly. We left eggs in the main hives, thinking they would become walk-away splits. The bees would create Queen cells, new queens would emerge. I've never had a problem with walkaway splits here. Within a week, the queen that I moved from her main hive to the resource hive disappeared. Absconded, I don't know what happened, she's gone, left. Oh well, no big deal, at least we still have the main hive making queen cells, which will make a queen. I, again, never had a problem with walkaway splits, figured that would just become a Vermont queen. Turns out it didn't become a Vermont queen. Now after over a month, they are queenless and dwindling. So Vermont queen number one, gone, resource hive fail, walk away split fail. Good news is singing cedar number two survived her resource hive. She left queen cells. I actually took queen cells out of there, made another resource hive out of her queen cells and the queen from the main hive survived. So singing cedar two became three hives. Singing cedar one was a fail. If you remember the Una hive, tried to make her into a resource hive and leave the main hive to make a queen. Una jumped off the frame, disappeared. That was a fail, but she left a whole bunch of eggs. I thought, well, they'll make a queen. One month later, no queen, queenless. So Una, queenless, Una resource hive, fail. The oddball hive is doing very well. And the oddball hive and Una are actually sisters. They both came from Balboa. So that's from the Balboa line. I just took a frame of eggs from Oddball, put it into Una, hoping that they would make a queen, give them a second shot. So they're making a queen right now. Frankie swarmed at some point. They are making a new queen, or they have made a new queen. I've not seen evidence of eggs yet, but I just gave them a bunch of empty frames, so hopefully she starts laying very soon. Back left hive swarmed. They left a bunch of queen cells, letting them make a queen right now. They should be emerged pretty soon, and then hopefully one of them will become a queen. So waiting on that one. Adrian Hive is my monster hive. They became the biggest hive in the bee yard after the Vermont Queens failed. So the Adrian Hive was so huge, I took Adrian out, made her a resource hive. She's in a new resource hive doing fine, left the hive alone to make a queen. I'm gonna go check them right now and see if they have a successful queen, because it's been 20 something days since I left them alone. So all this being said, I need to get my resource hives going and I wanna make sure Una is okay and I wanna make sure Adrian's okay. But today I went and got three new queens. So in the era of coronavirus, this is how we pick up queens. So it's drive up service. Drove up, we got three queens. All right, just got back from Autumn Morning Farm in Barrie, Massachusetts and my buddy George over there is a bee breeder, supplier. He sells beekeeping equipment. He sells packages in the springtime. He breeds bees. He sells nukes, local nukes that have overwintered. And a uh, really good guy, good, good company over there. Check him out, Autumn Morning Farm. Called him up today and asked what kind of queens he had. He had Italian queens, VSH queens, Carniolans, and Buckfast. And I'm very excited to try Buckfast bees. I've been reading about these bees for a long time. I believe the original stock from these bees that he's breeding came from Texas. I think these are from the Weaver 
B company or one of the weaver companies down there. He gets the stock and then he breeds them up here. So these are bred locally, but they're from weaver and their buckfast line. So very excited. I got three. I definitely need two and I'm going to try and find a way to use the third one. And uh, that's what I'm doing right now. All right, next up is to check on Singing Cedar Resource Hive, number one. This was the first one I tried to make, and they were, as of yesterday, pretty weak. All right, this hive has been queenless for a few weeks. I mean, it was an attempted walkaway split, basically, that failed. So they are queenless, and they're just, you know, a little tiny colony in here. There's just hardly any bees in this hive. This poor hive. They don't seem like they're getting robbed, so that's good. There's just like one or two frames of bees in here. Well, maybe there's a few more than I thought. Woo, they just started humming. Okay, I'm gonna go get a queen and try a queen in this hive. So I'm going to just put the queen on and see how they react to her. That's always the first step. So there's our queen right there. I'm going to take the little plug out of the candy. Just want to see how they respond to her. So just put it right there. What do you say, bees? Just want to see if there's aggression, if they're biting at the cage, if they're sticking on it like Velcro. The other thing is you want to see if they start to fan. So one thing you can do to test is drag your finger along the cage and see if the bees stick like Velcro or if they, they wipe right off? And they wiped right off, which is a good sign. If they stick like Velcro, it usually means they're, they're biting and they're, they're grabbing and they're attacking, they're guarding. That was a really good sign there. All right, definitely no attacking going on. I'm gonna poke a hole in that candy and, and put her in there, just, just like that, right on top of the frames there. Okay, leave them in there. Go queen. All right, queen one is in the box. All right, this is singing cedar hive one, and I think they're getting robbed. These are not foragers coming in. These are, these are bees coming in and looking for other ways in. They're coming in the tops. They're coming in all around. I put the guard in yesterday, and they're just going around it. So. I think this hive just got too weak and I'm not sure what I'm going to do. I don't know if, if I should even put a queen in here because they're getting hammered. I don't know how many of these bees are part of the original colony and how many are just robbing. That might be the, the last bit of the cluster right there. Just not enough bees to defend anything. I should move them from this location though. So you can see that, that poor hive just getting robbed. All right, I'm gonna move the colony away from that spot. I'm gonna leave the robbers, the, uh, the medium frames there. They can go in and they can rob those and think that's the robbing spot. But I'm gonna move that hive over here. frames of honey in there for them to rob. So the robbers that are getting the alert that this is the robbing location will just come here and take the honey and get out. And then they'll just leave this hive alone, take the pressure off. There's a little bit of a colony left in here. The few bees that are in here might accept a new queen now. If they, I'm going to just leave them like this and hopefully the the robbers will go somewhere else. Just gonna tighten up the entrance. Leave them alone for a little bit. This poor little hive. Yeah, those don't look like robbers. All right, I'm gonna try putting a queen on here and see what happens. All right, 
<clears throat> to keep the robbers out, I'm going to put the lid on here and just let them see if they go for the queen. All right, queen's in there in a cage. We'll see what happens. All right, this is the old singing cedar number one hive that I moved from the back row to the third row. And I locked them all up, put the queen inside here, and they were getting robbed before, and it's really slowed down now. I don't, I don't think they're getting really robbed anymore, but um, they've been locked up for a couple hours. So I'm just going to look in here and see if they're saying hello to the queen. Yeah, there's definitely robbers coming in here. So I'm going to put them back together. I'm just going to leave them. I'm going to leave them overnight. There's a pretty good colony in there that definitely is the original colony. Queen's in there, she's in her cage, she's locked in so they can't even start eating the candy out. Um, but I'm gonna leave them closed like this. There's definitely robbers going in there like one at a time, but it's not, I wouldn't say heavy pressure. So, yeah, they're good. You can see them going in there. Maybe I'll just block that. Give them a little challenge. I'll check them out in the morning. All right, checking on Una. If you remember Una, this was the queen that I tried to make a split from. Very first thing I tried to do this year in the bee yard. And she fell off the frame and disappeared. So I thought after losing Una, I would just let them make a new queen because there were eggs in this hive. So I left them alone. I noticed queen cells a couple weeks later and uh, then no queen. So I believe this hive is queenless. And because of that, I put a frame of eggs in here about six or seven days ago. So I'm going to check in here and see if there's queen cells, and if there's not, I may introduce a queen. I took a frame of eggs from Oddball here, and I put them over here, because they're, these are sister queens. They both came from Balboa. So, checking for queen cells. Pretty sure it was one of these frames here. Drone frame. I hope we don't have a laying worker deal in here. That's not a good thing. We got a queen in here. There's a queen. They weren't queenless. All right, I don't see eggs yet. It's a crazy amount of drones in here. A weird, weird year. This might have been the frame I put in with eggs. And if they had a queen, they would have done nothing with it, but let's see. Yeah, this was it. They didn't make they didn't try and make a queen because they had a queen. Thing is, I don't see eggs. Something is up with this hive. Yeah, it's all drones. All the brood in here is drones. So this is, uh, this is kind of a messed up hive. I think I have a drone laying queen. And I don't know what happened, but whatever queen emerged, I don't think she mated or I think she mated poorly or something, but now she's in that hive laying only drones. So I'm gonna try and intervene right now and deal with this problem.